Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how you can create a timeout or a sleep function in Microsoft Excel VBA. That way in case you want to have a, a, a pause between two macros you can do so by using this very simple method. So let me go on and get started. I'm going to go to my developers tab and go to Visual Basic. You probably already have some like a module established where all your macros are placed in. If not just simply create a module into your workbook. You can rename the module if you want, but I'm just going to call, um, just going to leave mine as module one and create sub timeout. And I'm going to put how many seconds as double. That way, a user can put how many seconds you want. Well, the, the programmer, I should say, I'm sorry. The programmer can put how many seconds they want to wait. And then, of course, it's going to be a double because we don't want to just accept integers. We, we want to be able to accept numbers that have decimals. So to create this procedure, all we're going to do is use the internal clock, the timer. First thing that we'll do is ass get, assign a variable. It says starting time is equal to timer. So all we're doing is getting the internal clock time as of right now when the procedure is executed. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a loop, do events. I'll explain what this does right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to loop until the timer that's currently within the computer, the internal clock, minus the starting time is greater than or equal to how many seconds. So do and the loop everything that's within here is going to be executed over and over and over until this condition is met. However, without a do events, the application is just going to lock up until the loop is completed, until the condition is met. So do events will allow the Excel application to be access accessible while anybody else, you know, during this loop while it's being executed. Otherwise, if we don't put this do events here, it's just going to seem like it's frozen. But to kind of show you what this is doing, we're assigning a variable to the current internal clock time. Let's just say right now it's it's really looking looking at this like as a second. Let's just say this is currently 50 seconds in the computer. And what we're going to do as seconds pass by, let's just say 3 seconds later, the internal clock in the computer might now be 58. So what it would be doing is 58 minus 55. We're going to wait until that condition is greater than or equal to however many seconds we establish by the programmer. So now what we're going to do is, let's say this is your macro, my macro. And what we can now do is do timeout. Let's just say three seconds, message box, three seconds have passed. And what we can do is before the timeout, let's just do message box beginning to execute. And we'll close that out. Let's just try running this macro. Macros, and this is my macro. We're going to run it. It's going to say beginning to execute. The timer will not start until we click OK. So let's go on and set this up. We should be able to count 0, 1, 2, and 3. So 3 seconds have passed. Message box comes up. And if we look at the Visual Basic environment, I just wanted to explain that the reason why my macro comes up under the macros here is because no parameters are required in order to run this macro whereas the timeout has how many seconds as double and we can't enter these kind of parameters through through the run macro in in the in the Microsoft Excel environment but anyhow this video is just to show you how to do a, a simple timeout procedure it's very simple it's only you can say four lines of code, but creating this procedure, you can just easily do timeout three seconds, or if you just want like half a second, 0.5, and we can just run that code again. I'm going to hit F5, beginning to execute, half a second goes by, and it says 0.5 seconds have passed. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.